Hey what's up guys, it's Rob, I hope you're doing good. So today I'm gonna to be checking out and doing a little review and demo of this awesome new acoustic guitar that I've picked up, which is an Alvarez 50th anniversary model. It's electroacoustic, you can plug the guitar in there and I've got a nice little EQ there with a volume switch, also an inbuilt tuner, which is really, really handy when you're gigging. And the best thing about this tuner is that when you press it on, it glows up obviously green if your strings are in tune and red if they need to be altered with little arrows to tell you which way they need to go, up or down. But the best thing about it is that it acts as a true bypass, like you would with a tuner pedal, where when you click it on, it cuts the sound to the PA or your speaker or your amp or anything like that. So you can tune your guitar without the noise of you tuning your guitar coming out through the speakers, which is really cool. So all in all, this is a really, really great acoustic guitar. And I didn't get it brand new. It was one of those awesome moments in life where you're just in the right place at the right time and I needed an acoustic guitar that I could plug in live so I could play an acoustic gig, which I had coming up a little while ago. And I was just walking through my hometown and I bumped into a friend of mine and we got chatting and he plays guitar as well. And he just so happened to be selling this guitar. And I'm not entirely sure how much these retail for, but I know it's quite a bit, um, but he gave me a good price for it, basically the sort of price where I couldn't really refuse it. So I ended up buying this guitar off him um, and considering it's not brand new, it still looks brand new. There's barely a scratch on it. So the first thing that really caught my eye when I looked at this guitar is the awesome mother of pearl outline, which goes all the way along the outside of the guitar here. Also, it goes round at the sound hole there. It's absolutely stunning. And you've even got mother of pearl little dots on top of the string pegs there, which are holding the strings into the guitar. Also, if you can hear a lot of fireworks going off at the moment, it's currently bonfire night here in the UK, so bear with me if there's a lot of fireworks going off at the moment and you can hear it. Hopefully this microphone isn't gonna pick those up too loudly. But anyway, another thing that's quite cool about this guitar is that when you see a lot of acoustic guitars, sometimes you get a strap holder here, but you don't really get another one. Whereas this guitar does. It's got another strap holder there with a little recess that is just sat in. So I haven't tried this guitar stood up yet, but I like the fact that this is one of the few guitars that I've seen that has come with two strap holders. And as I said, it's got a little EQ here and obviously it's an electroacoustic, so you're gonna need somewhere to put the battery, which is here, this little compartment. And the best thing about this is that I've tried other guitars where you've got a little battery compartment there. And it's one of those ones where you've got to try and get your thumbnail underneath or it's like, it's quite awkward to get the lid off to get the battery in. And not with this one, this one's great because you literally just push it and it pops out. Then you can change your battery like that and put it back in, push it back in until it clicks, which is really, really cool. Push in, so easy. And in all honesty, before getting this guitar, I didn't really know much about Alvarez. It's just one of those brands that I've heard of, but I've not really looked into too much. But looking at the top of this guitar on the headstock, I don't expect you can see this, but it says handcrafted. So that's a, another cool little quality that's guitar is handcrafted. I need to look into that a little bit more. But anyway, enough talking about the guitar. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to hear how it sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the guitar in and I'm going to play through just the DI. So just the guitar straight into my computer there. So you can hear how that sounds plugged straight in. And then I'm going to do another playthrough, which is just the microphone. I'm going to put this microphone I'm talking to currently in front of the guitar. So you can just hear that. And then what I'll do at the end is I'll do a combination of both where I might pan it slightly left and slightly right and have the direct out and the microphone combined at the same time. So you can just get a feel of all the different sort of sounds you can get through it. And in terms of EQ and in terms of settings on the computer, I'm not gonna do anything. If I was gonna do some recording or if I was gonna play live, I'd probably do a little bit of EQ tweaking either on the desk. I probably wouldn't touch the guitar too much. I'd probably just try and leave it as a flat EQ like roughly everything in the middle and then tweak anything on the desk or tweak anything on the computer in post. Today, I'm not gonna do any of that because I just wanna show the natural sound of this guitar as it is. So I'm gonna leave the EQ flat on the guitar and on the computer, I'm not gonna add any reverb. I'm not gonna to touch the EQ on there or anything like that. Um, all I'm gonna do is on the last one when I combine the DI with the microphone, I'm just gonna pan it slightly so you're not getting too much of both things through both speakers. It'll just be slightly left and slightly right. So. Other than that, let's get to it. So firstly, let's check out how the guitar sounds by just plugging it straight into there, straight into the computer.
Okay, so that was the guitar plugged straight into the computer there. But now let's check out how this guitar sounds if we put my microphone in front of it. So this is just the guitar and the microphone audio. Again, no EQ, no tweaks or anything like that, just the natural microphone. Obviously also I'm not using headphones, so I'm not gonna get the ideal position. I would spend a lot of time if I was doing some recording by just tweaking the microphone position and making sure it's in the best place. But for now, I'm literally just gonna put the microphone in front of the guitar and play so you get the rough version of how it sounds. So yeah, this is what that sounds like. So that's how the guitar sounds with my microphone put in front of it. By the way, my microphone is just a normal bog standard condenser microphone from Focusrite, which I got with my interface there, which I've done a video about. So if you're curious about what equipment I'm currently using, I'll leave a link below to my video talking about the microphone and the interface and everything that I do to record on my computer. So if you're interested, check that out. But yeah, normal condenser microphone in front of this guitar. And lastly, I said, let's check out how the guitar sounds with the microphone as well as the direct signal from the guitar into the computer at the same time, slightly panned. So let's check out how that sounds now.
so there you go that's how the guitar sounds plugged straight into the computer with a microphone and a little bit of both there i feel like this guitar sounds really really good plugged in and it sounded really good when i played that gig a little while ago just straight in and it had a lot of bass to it which is sometimes quite rare when you plug an acoustic guitar in like it might just sound quite twangy and you know it's not got much presence and body to it with this guitar really really does it really resonates really well but also even when i'm just sat here playing the guitar i'm not recording i'm not plugged it into anything i'm just genuinely jamming it still sounds really really good it's a really nice looking guitar a nice playing guitar and it feels really really good it's got a really nice smooth neck on the back really easy to play so this is a really really cool guitar and i'm really glad that i got it really glad that i bumped into my friend who was selling it and he sold it to me for a good price so Hope you enjoyed this little demo of the guitar. If you're interested in Alvarez guitars, then maybe I'll leave a link to where you can look at this exact one on a, on a website somewhere. And I'll leave more of the specs of the guitar in the description because I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head because I didn't get any sort of information with this guitar. I didn't get any leaflets or anything like that because I didn't have them. So I've just got the guitar, so I'll look up the specs and I'll put them in the description there. But I hope you enjoyed this little video demonstration and be sure to expect a lot more recordings coming up with me using this guitar in the near future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to see those. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please click up here to see another video. Over here to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.